Panasonic 3DO, released by Panasonic. Uh, this was released in 1993 and was discontinued in 1996. The 3DO was $599 at launch, which was quite uh, quite a pretty penny <laughs> uh, back in the day. Um, you know, compared to getting a Sega Genesis or a Super Nintendo, that's kind of why most people went that route instead of picking this up. But this was still a pretty cool little nifty system. I um, I like 3DO. It's, it's one of those obscure consoles that no one really talks about too much unless you're like real heavy into gaming. And as you can see here, this system is real. That's right friends, for real real, not for play play. Or well, I guess technically it is for play play. Never mind, don't don't listen to me. So just because it didn't sell a lot, um, doesn't you know it it had a short lifespan, but it still had a good library of games. Uh, let's take a look at some of them. Here is Gex. This is also what the games look like. Uh, some of them came in the long boxes that look kind of like uh, PlayStation One, like the early PlayStation One and Sega Saturn kind of things. Uh, but I unfortunately don't have any of those to show off, but these are, uh, what the games look like. I mean, it had a pretty decent selection of, uh, of um, video games. I mean, a couple ones that come to mind were, um, Alone in the Dark, uh, Crash and Burn, Need for Speed. Uh, had a couple really good arcade, uh, fighters like Samurai Showdown and, uh, Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Those were all really good. So... This is the Model 2 version of the uh, Panasonic 3DO. There were a couple other ones. There was the Gold Star version that looked kind of like a, uh, looked kind of like a, um, the Sega CD Model 1. It uh, had a disc drive that would uh, come out. And um, yeah, there was a couple ones. There was one by Sanyo, there was one by Gold Star, and uh, one other one I can't quite remember. But this one was the Model 2, and it was the, uh, Top loading one. Just push the little button there and put your game in. Let's see what was in here last? Road Rash. What a great game. Uh, this is probably like the best version of Road Rash you can play. Uh, if anything else, get this system just to play this. This is a lot of fun. Let's put your game in there and you are on your 3DO journey. It definitely had a. Uh different kind of design as you can see here especially from the uh, model 1 model 2 or I mean the uh, different versions of the gold star and as you can see here there was only uh, one controller port so here's a look at the Panasonic 3DO controller uh, it's a lot like a uh, Sega Genesis or a Super Nintendo controller it's kind of like if this two had a baby this would be that controller and uh it's very comfortable very comfortable i like this controller a lot um got your play pause obviously your start and select buttons a b c and then you got your uh bumpers right there uh one of the other controllers would have a input right there where you can plug headphones in and a little dial to control the volume this one doesn't have that but one neat thing is um like i said one controller port so you would uh Take your controller. Let's see if I can do this. <laughs> Probably can't. Oh, it would help if I had it right side up. Okay, so you plug your controller in. And then you want to get a friend to play, you would just. Sorry about that, I had to go find another controller. Uh, you would just take controller dealy, plug it in right there. And there you go. Two player action, ready to go. This is the uh, another controller for it. I think this is like an off-brand, I'm not entirely sure, it doesn't look like an official one, but it is for the 3DO regardless. So yeah, and if you really want to be a dick and your friend's pissing it off, you can just be like, BABOOM! You are out, sucker, and you can whoop his ass in whatever fighting game you are, and be a total dick. There you go. So yeah, that's the controller. So when it comes to hooking up the uh, 3DO, you got a couple choices. There is a RF out where you can take a, um, an RF coax cable and uh, plug it into your TV. I mean, any one will work. This is a Nintendo one and it works just fine. Or you can 
use uh, the AV cables, which is what I use is the, the more preferred method of doing it. Better, uh, get a much better picture and an S video out. So there's a couple ways you can hook this up to your TV, your uh, channel selector, three or four. And then, um, didn't come with a uh, power brick like most of the other consoles back then. It came with this, which is just a single plug. It's kind of like the uh, the plug you see with most consoles nowadays, like the uh, you know, like the Dreamcast, the Saturn. Uh, I don't. I think the PlayStation Three might use this, uh, but it's it's more of a mainstream cable. I mean, you can find these everywhere, so. Yes, the Panasonic 3DO. Quite a spiffy, spiffy system. And uh, it's pretty cool. You know, one cool thing I like about it is that it's not, uh, there's no region locking on this. So you can uh, get um, import games and just pop them in and play them. I mean, most of which, there's a few fighting games you can get that are pretty cool. That I mean, you really don't need to know Japanese to play. Uh, they're mostly in English. So yeah. Don't forget, it is. It is real, son. So real. So there you have it. The uh, Panasonic 3DO. Definitely worth checking out. Um, I, I, they're not too expensive. This model um, is a bit pricey on eBay. Uh, I have yet to find any of them, you know, at yard sales and whatnot. Uh, they're not too badly priced on eBay. But yes, Panasonic 3DO. Definitely go get one. Definitely check it out. If anything, play Road Rash. Road Rash is amazing. And Gex says, go get the Panasonic 3DO. It is Gex approved. Thanks for watching.